Now let's use the knowledge that we have obtained in the last couple of minutes here to do a couple problems. Let's say I want to find the measure of AB. Now we're going to simply talk about line segments obviously because they're measurable. Now, I want you to note that we're finding the measure of AB. So I want you to see where AB is. AB is the entire, from point A to point B, is the entire length of this line segment. But note that there are two minor segments that build the larger segment. Do you see how AC and CB ultimately equal the length of AB? So we're going to simply take the small section AC, the small section CB, and we're going to add them together. By looking at our problem, AC is 4, CB is 3, and we find that AB is equal to 7. 7 what? 7 units. Because it is a measure of something. We don't technically know, we're not given that information but we know it's some unit of measurement. Now, the second example, I want to find the measure of A, D. Now, with this example, we are told to find the measure of AD. Once again, the measure of AD is the entire length of the line segment. So all we have to do is essentially add all of the components that make this line segment. So we're going to take AB plus BC plus CD, which is going to equal the entire segment AD. Remember, small section plus small section plus small section equals the whole section. Now, we also have these little hash marks that identify that they are congruent. So if AB is congruent to CD, we know that AB is 2, so thus CD is 2. AB is 2. BC is 3. And CD is 2. 2 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 7. So AD equals seven. Now, our next example is find 
AF. Now once again, we're finding AF, and it is our knowledge here that AF, once again, is the entire length of the line segment. So like previous examples, we're going to take the small section AB, the small section BC, the small section CD and the small section DF and we're going to add them together and it's going to equal the entire section AF. So once again we have our little hash marks that identify that A B is congruent to DF. So since our little hash mark tells us that they're congruent, AB is 3, so is DF. We're also told that CD is congruent to BC. CD is 4, so therefore BC is also four. Now let's plug into our little formula. AB is three plus BC which is four plus CD which is four plus DF which is three. Three plus four is seven. Four plus three is seven. 7 plus 7 is 14. So AF equals 14. Now, this time I want to find AB. And I first want to you to see where AB is. This time AB is one of the smaller sections of the line segment. It's not the entire line segment this go around. So we're finding AB. So let's just denote AB as some variable. I'm going to call it X. Now in previous examples we have taken the smaller section AB added it to the smaller section, which in our case here is BC, and it equaled the entire section AC. Now we know that AB is just X because we denote it as such, because that's what we're finding, plus BC, which is 10, which equals the entire segment which is 14. And now we just simply solve for x. I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. And x is equal to 14 minus 10, which is just 4. So ab is equal to 4.
So EX, I'm finding EX this time. And once again, I want to direct your attention to what we're finding. We're finding EX, which once again is a smaller section of an entire line segment. Now I also want to direct your attention that EX is congruent to JP. So we're going to have to denote both as some variable and we're just going to call it C. It does not matter which variable you use but since they're congruent I'm going to call them C. Now in previous examples we've taken EX plus XJ plus JP and that equaled the entire segment in our case EP. EX is C, XJ is 5, and JP is C, which is going to equal the entire segment, which is 25. Now, solve for C. We're going to count the number of C's I have. I have 2, 2C. Two plus 5 is equal to 25 and solve for C. Minus 5 from both sides left with 2C equals 20. I'm going to divide by 2 to both sides and C equals 10 and therefore EX also equals 10. Now, we're going to do one final problem. And in this problem, I want to find JR. Now, once again, let's identify what we're finding. We're finding JR. JR is that section of the line segment. In all previous examples, we have taken JR plus RP plus PG plus GH and it's going to equal the entirety or JH. We know that JR is 3X plus RP which is 5 plus PG which is 2X plus GH which is 4 which is going to equal JH which is 99. Combine like terms, 5x plus 9 equals 99. Let's subtract 9 from both sides. 5x equals 90. 
going to divide by 5. And x equals 18. Now, at this point, you have to be careful. You have to be very careful. The question told us to find JR. We know that JR is equal to 3x. So we have to plug in our x equals 18 everywhere we see an x. So we have to do 3 times 18 to make sure we get the actual length of JR which 3 times 18 is 54. You have to be careful. The question told us to find JR so we had to plug in our X value in for all the X's in JR and then evaluate the expression.